Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Onward Men podcast, a podcast built for men, guys, that want to grow, that want to get better, that want to get 1% better every day. Because, guys, the only promise of a better tomorrow is by you getting better. And, and that is a simple truth of life, guys. And I want every man out there to win at life. I want you to dominate your life. I want you to win the battles that we face every single day as men. And really quick, my name is Richard Mujica, and I'm all about the five M's of manhood, which are money, mission, muscles, mindset, and marriage. And I believe, gentlemen, that you gotta have all five if you wanna be considered a high performance man. And today, guys, is something I call Muscle Monday. And as men, there's so many muscles that we have to build in our lives, not only our physical muscles, but our spiritual muscles, our relationship muscles, our adversity muscles, our uh, spouse and marriage muscles, right? There's so many muscles, guys, that we must develop. And today, I want to talk about kind of more on the physical side, right? And obviously, building your body as a man is so important. And gentlemen, if you have not made the gym a priority in your life, if you have not made uh, you know, going to the gym something that you just do as a man, I would really encourage you to start doing that like today because that is life-changing, right? Your ability to get up and go to the gym and work out, move your body, get mental clarity, and really just uh, be that guy that is, is in physical condition, guys, it's, it's important to your life. So that's number one. But number two is... Now, how do you stick to a diet, right? Like a lot of men I know have trouble um, with their diet, right? And have trouble not eating the crap or the late night stuff or whatever the cravings that you get. And gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that if you struggle with eating and your diet and your weight and you're fluctuating and you can never stay, stay consistent with something, Everything around that area of your life, just like everything else, guys, is your identity. Your identity will always dictate what you eat, right? And like, for example, guys, like what I always like to tell people for me, because a lot of people are saying, you know, oh my gosh, Rich, you're so disciplined. Oh my gosh, Rich, how do you like stay so disciplined with your eating? And how do you not eat this and that? And the reality of the matter is, guys, is that Anybody that eats right and is in peak physical condition or just is just in condition in general, it's not about discipline, right? It's not about better habits. It's not about, um, oh my gosh, that guy's just so disciplined. The, the, the reality is, guys, is that that person just has a different identity. Like when, when, when that guy wakes up, his identity is, man, I'm a fit guy. Like I eat right. I, I put good things into my body. I, I, I want to stay in peak physical condition. Like that's just who that guy is. That is part of his identity, guys. And we all, as men, have identities that we associate with. Like you'll talk to athletes and an athlete, like what happens with an athlete, right? A, a peak performance athlete is they lose that role, right? All of a sudden they get hurt, they get injured. And they go into this funk in life. Why? Because they lose their identity as an athlete. They are an athlete. To them, they're an athlete. So they do the workouts. They put in the effort. They put in the overtime. They freaking dominate the field because that's who they are. Right, gentlemen? So I'm here to tell you that if you want to start getting different results in terms of your eating and sticking to behaviors that you want, that you say you quote unquote want, that you want to get more shredded, that you want to have a six pack, that you want to be more healthy, that you want to eat better, then you got to stop trying to be more disciplined. You got to stop trying to stick to a freaking eating plan and you got to brainwash a brand new identity, guys. As soon as you see yourself as a person who eats right, well, guess what you're going to do? You're going to eat right. You're not going to have to think about it. You're not going to have to put in the overtime to do it. You are just going to do it because it's who you are as a man. So gentlemen, today, I want you to brainwash yourself into a brand new identity. What you speak to yourself consistently, what you tell yourself consistently, what you feed your mind consistently, whatever you immerse yourself in with your self-talk is who you eventually become. And gentlemen, we all act out of who we are, not what we do, right? 
We, what we do is a byproduct of who we are inside. So I want you to change your identity around your food today. I want you to start looking at yourself differently. And that, you know what? I am a man. I, those I am statements in life, guys, are so important because whoever you are is what you do as a man. And I, I know this concept, it might, for some, might sound pretty confusing. It might sound like, I don't, Rich, I don't really understand this. Like, how do I shift that identity and how do I become a, a human that has a different identity? And I'm telling you right now, guys, it's about immersion. It's about what you tell yourself. It's about who you hang around. It's about what you believe about yourself. You change your beliefs about yourself, who you are, your actions, your words, and if they all align to a different identity, then you will adopt that identity and then you will start doing what that person does. If you look at any successful human being in any area of life, it's because they're not acting out of, doing. They're acting out of who they are first, guys. And it's so important in your life, guys, if you want to have a better body, if you want to start going to the gym more, if you want to start being more consistent with your eating, if you want to stop, stop trying to build more discipline, stop trying to build better habits and start changing that identity because your identity will always take over your life right? It's like a subconscious pattern that your life runs off of, guys. Your identity, your income is controlled by your identity. Your risk-taking ability is controlled by your identity. Your entrepreneurial spirit is controlled by your identity. It's who you are, gentlemen. We all work from who we are, right? Who we are first matters. And I just want to keep repeating this, guys, because I want to ingrain it into you as men that your eating, your habits of eating, your meal plan stuff that never carries out is not because of your behaviors, it's because of your identity, guys. Change that first. Become a man that eats right first. Be, be that man that eats better first, and then all the actions will line up. And that is my message today, guys, all right? Dominate your life, move forward with passion, purpose, and never surrender, guys. Be men that help others, right? Move forward in the face of adversity, the battles of life, are coming, gentlemen, but it's not about the battles. It's about how you respond to them. And that is what an onward man is all about. So with that being said, guys, you can always go to richardmuchka.com for sales, influence, and persuasion if you want to learn how to be a closer. Uh, you can also go to the onwardmenpodcast.com to download every manly episode of this podcast. Like always, gentlemen, I hope that this podcast helps you please leave a review, rate and review us, guys. Share this podcast. Let other men know about it because one man at a time, we want to change the landscape of this world. That is our vision and that is our mission. All right, guys, we are out. Peace.